I moved around a lot when I was a kid. Like, I lived in Silver Spring a little bit, Rockville. I lived around PG County, too, like Largo and Highsville, to be exact. But I moved around a little bit throughout the whole DMV, to be honest with you. I've been going to Go-Go since I was nine. And, you know, Go-Go is like the DMV's music, you know what I'm saying? They originated in D.C., but, like, just growing up in the area, it teaches you, like, to be on your P's and Q's, you know what I'm saying? Just to be tough-minded, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? It's a tough, it's a tough place to live at, but it's a dope place to live at too because it's a melting pot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cultures, a lot of different people. My mom and dad, they used to have little parties at the crib and I would always be upstairs. Like when I knew that people were coming, I'm like, all right, it's my time to shine. I don't know why though, you know what I'm saying? But I, I remember vividly and I'd be upstairs, you know what I'm saying? This is when Michael Jackson was still out. Like Michael Jackson was still alive and he was like my favorite. So I'd wear the little Michael Jackson top hat. And I'd be like, once people start coming in, I'm like, all right, it's time for me to perform, you feel me? So I'd go downstairs and I would just tell my folks, like, you know, turn the music on, let me do my thing. And they'll let me do my thing. And then my uncles and aunts, like, or just family friends, they would pay me, like, little money, a dollar here, a dollar there. But then I'd leave off and I wouldn't come back to the party. I'm gone. You feel me? Like, I'm upstairs playing Sega Genesis, Streets of Rage real heavy. I think just my love for performing and just the culture of hip hop really just intertwined with like who I am as a person, you know what I'm saying? I'm really like into fashion and fashion and hip hop, they mix together. So it found me, I didn't, I didn't go looking for it. I remember I fucked up my shoes, some shoes that I had. I was probably like in third grade and my mom went to take me to go get some shoes. And she got me some like big ass boots. I don't know what kind of boots these were, but they were fly as shit though. So when I came back into the class, everybody was like, whoa. And then from that day forward, I was like, oh, no, I'm gonna be fresh the rest of my life. I started rapping because my brother started rapping. I went to the studio with him and I seen how like he got in there and he just recorded quick as shit. That shit was like impressive. I was like, damn, all right. Maybe like a year later, that's when I really got into it. And then that was like 2011, but I was still playing college basketball. So after the season was over, that's when I was like, yo, I'm about to just rap full time. Because I was still dibbling and dabbling with rap, but I wasn't full time with it. So then after the season was over and I was playing like junior college for like two years, I just, you know, got into the rap thing and just got locked in. I guess when I was at the Fillmore with my man DJ Ziver, he used to be called DJ Dunmire back then. When we did that show, it was like sold out. It was so many people there and man, I fucked that joint all the way up. You know what I'm saying? And that's the first time I ever got paid from rap. That's when I was like, all right, I probably could do something with this as a career. That was like 2015, 16. That's when I locked in and was really like, yeah, let's do this, you know, whatever it takes. I really love performing, you know, just really rock out and give them a um, give them a glimpse of how it feels to like grow up in the DMV for real, for real. You know, I know our area um, has a really uh, strong background in music. A lot of people don't know that, though, like even with punk rock, punk rock kind of originated here. Go-Go originated here. A lot of underground shit originated here, you know, um, even with a lot of fashion, too. Like Yeezy just said it the other day. I ain't say Kanye said it, all right? He said it. So it is what it is. It's just time to show the world what it is. And I think I just want to show it from my perspective and just from my point of view. And that's like the most honest thing I could say.